Episode 17, August 25th, 1914. A Fair of Mattresses in Landrice by Brigadier General Charteris, CMG, DSO. Read by Grenville Johnston. Just about 4 p.m., we reached Laundressy, where we were to stop for the evening, and until 2 a.m., when we were to march again. Though I had been riding almost all day, I was pretty tired, for I had been up most of the previous night. As soon as I had got my billet, I lay down to sleep. I had just dozed off when I was awakened by a great disturbance in the street. Refugees were streaming in, shouting that the Hulans were hard at their heels, and some of them flourished Hulan lances and accoutrements to prove their statements. D.H., Sir Douglas Haig, told me to get on my horse and, with one orderly, to ride back and investigate. Just north of Londrisi, where the refugees report the Germans to be, there is a thick wood, the Forêt de Mormal. There are two main roads converge onto a bridge over the river. I got to Kearney and, with an orderly, rode about one and a half miles up one road and then back to the bridge and up the other. There was absolutely nothing to be seen or heard. And I returned to Laundrissy and reported to D.H. that it seemed to be a false alarm or, in any case, an exaggerated report. There could be no large body of troops within some miles of us. It must have been about six o'clock, and I lay down again to rest. I think I was asleep, though it cannot have been more than ten minutes later, when I was aroused by sharp rifle fire and some shelling. Almost immediately after reports came in that Londrisi was surrounded, there was a good deal of confusion and some amusing incidents. D.H. ordered the whole town to be organised for defence, barricades to meet across the roads with furniture and anything else handy, all secret papers, etc., to be destroyed. He sent me off to prepare a big school building for defence, giving me a couple of companies of guards as a working party. For once... He was quite jolted out of his usual placidity. He said, If we are caught, my God will sell our lives dearly. It was a weird scene in the village street. Men were throwing mattresses and chairs out of the windows for the barricades, which others were making as best they could. The few inhabitants left were protesting feebly, the guards had arrested and tied up a French officer who had lost his head and was making an ass of himself. I saw one rather pompous and unpopular staff officer walking towards me, and a man at an upper window taking deliberate aim with one of these great soft French mattresses and hitting him fair and square with it. Down went the pompous one, buried in the feather mattress, to the immense glee of the men. He was, of course, none the worse for it, but very, very angry. Then I heard a great rattle of revolver shots quite close, and I saw an officer, obviously very excited, discharging his revolver down the street. I asked a military policeman who was nearby what was in the street? Nothing, sir, he said with a smile, but some officers' horses. 
So I asked him, why the blank don't you stop him? Well, you see, sir, he said, he is a full colonel, and his own horse is there with the others. Besides, he's very excited, and it may ease him. So I asked the fool colonel if he would care to come and help me with my job instead of shooting horses. And he quite amicably agreed, so off we went together. The next day, Wednesday, was the first full day of the retreat, and it was a very anxious time for the staff and terrible for the troops. We started at 5 a.m. and marched steadily until 4 p.m. Seemed much longer than that. Steadily plodding along a dusty road in a glaring, blazing sun. We only halted a few minutes in each hour's march. Always there was the sound of the guns, now distance, now seeming much closer. The battalion commanders knew what we were in for and made the men lie down at every halt. First the men resented this, but as the hours slowly passed, they dropped as if hit immediately, a halt was ordered, and were asleep almost before their bodies reached the ground. Brother Bert, 